Hey everyone, this is Hero Tonight 2011. Welcome back to more Let's Play Crash Twin Sanity. In the last episode, we went through one hell of a level, uh, discovered Aku Aku and Uka Uka reuniting after um, years of conflict for the greater good, found out that uh, Cortex is somehow related to the evil twins, and now Dingle Dial is after the treasure because Cortex can't keep his big mouth shut. In this episode, we finally reached Engine's battleship because we need two more crystals and... Uh, we already got one from that hell of a level before, so now we need uh, one more from Engine's Battleship, which this place is called High Sea Hijinx, and, uh, you know what's funny? I'm kind of indifferent to this level too, but this one isn't that bad compared to the last one. The music here is funny at least. By the way, this will lead you right back to the beginning of the hub world, but again, I won't be showing that off to uh, the bonus episode. So, let's head around this way. Oh my god, I'm sorry about, like, last time. Like, again, I wasn't kidding when I said that that was one of my- I died for a life. I wasn't kidding when I said that's one of my favorite levels, but at the same time, it's like, wow, uh, it's my favorite level, but I don't- I actually- <laughs> I remembered why I didn't like that level. Like, wow, I did- Like, basically, the way that that level works is that because it's, you know, you're scrolling and everything, you essentially have to do... Oh, I also think... I think that's an unused enemy in this game. Lovely. Uh, anyway, um, despite the fact that um, you have to... Uh, you know, you're on a snowboard. It controls like crap. And, well, you essentially have to get everything in one go. Because if you don't, you're replaying the level or at least resetting because of all the checkpoints that prevent you from killing yourself and going back. By the way, something I find weird about Engine here... He's supposed to be on Cortex's side, and yet they're, he's enemies with Cortex. Basically, the way that the enemies work in this game is that it's every man for himself. Because, uh, yeah, despite the fact... Okay, the particle um, effect go away. The particle effect go away. I can English. Um, despite the fact... Oh, no, those aren't re unused enemies. They're, they're right there. I forgot they're part of um, Engine's uh, pirate crew. For some reason, Engine's a pirate now, and I don't know why. Um, anyway, what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, the way that, um, the, you know, the other villains... Okay, thank God there was a checkpoint. The way that the other vil... What happened there? Did you see him just pop in? Okay, despite the fact that the other villains should be on our side, because the evil uh, twins are only after Cortex, essentially the other villains are, is every man for themselves because they just care about the treasure. They don't care about helping Cortex. In fact... A lot of them are pretty are pretty on board with the twins getting rid of Cortex, so there's less competition. Especially um, someone that we're going to meet a little long, uh, along down the road. And I apologize for getting hit there. Again, my computer seems to freeze at the most inopportune times. And that switch over there was just for a bunch of extra lives, so let's not bother. You know, I really don't know what that was about. The the fact that um the fact that uh Engine was like doing that little like uh leg hop thing. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. And um here's the thing that I find kind of funny about this. Engine looks very much like a Frankenstein monster in this game, and I don't know why. I guess maybe just years of just being like half machine finally got to him, but we gotta play some Donkey Kong here and ow, apparently I suck at Donkey Kong. We just get rid of this guy. With a few well-placed jumps, you can get up here. Because I've seen speedrunners do it! <sighs> okay. The, this game is, like, really getting on my... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I'm going to break my voice doing this. What I was trying to say before, actually, is that what's weird about that cutscene is that if you die, the game doesn't consider that a cutscene anymore, as Crash is still active, so you can move during that cutscene, and that's why I was there on um, the platform that was disappearing, because I was moving during that cutscene. You can even die during that cutscene by that rat touching you based off the- oh! Yes, exactly, Engine. That's exactly how I feel. You can die by the rat moving around if you have really bad RNG. So in any case, let's get back up there. My god, I'm gonna need a- I'm meeting you guys where we get- get- Crash and bash. Decided to save the trouble and get a game over, and that's what I was talking about. How you can still move during the cutscene and actually kill yourself. 
But yeah, I saved the trouble because I was running out of lives anyway. So now I will meet you guys up there. Crashy bashy. Okay, we are finally up here after losing a few lives in the process also. Here's the thing. These rats, even though they're essentially harmless, you know, touching them will basically hurt you. So they are enemies by association just because, well, touching them can hurt you. And uh, here's the thing. I am like so like beat from that final, uh, that last level that I, oh man, wombo combo. That I, I'm just like so like tired of like speaking right now. I, originally I was gonna record videos for like two weeks worth, but like I think I'm done after this episode because holy crap, my voice is hurting me right now. Now, nah, okay, I, I tried slamming. The gems here aren't that bad. Okay, I thought I messed up again. I think I did because I can't get back up there now. I have to, uh, huh? Oh, you know what? I guess I can try to show off the cheat of like how to get up there. Cause like with the well-placed jump, you can make it up there. Come on, don't make me go all the way around. I, I just got here. I just got here. Don't make me jump all the way around again, game. Come on, you're not that badly designed. Why is there an invisible wall? God, you hear that voice crack of mine? Okay, fine, I'll meet you there. Jesus Christ, there's so many jump cuts in this. By the way, the reason I kept dying here, Crash doesn't have a drop shadow. A few moments later. What the hell? Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, you're gonna wanna hear a funny story. So, uh, if I sound a bit different, I have the fan on with, like, my window open because, uh, this is actually a few days later. I was, like, because, like, the previous level... Oh, come on, computer, don't freeze on me now. Because of, like, you know, the previous level, I was just, like, so frustrated with the game that, like, because I kept dying on this level, like, you know, I showed that I got... I purposely got, like, a, um, a game over just so I can start off with, like, a fresh set of lives. I was so frustrated with this level that I outright said, screw it. And I decided, wow, that's cheap enemy placement, by the way. So I was so frustrated at this level, I decided to say screw it. And uh, I said I wasn't going to come back to like a lot later. <laughs> so I recorded all that footage on Monday. It is now Friday afternoon. Uh, yeah, it took me like four days to get back to recording this game because I was just so angry at the previous level and the stuff that happened to me in this level. And the worst part about it is... I'm not even done, because, uh, I, you know, I, for the sake of, um, you know, being convenient, I met you guys back to where we last left off. Yeah, um, what actually happened, I didn't actually show because I didn't, uh, record myself, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, th that death should signify what I've gone through, and I'm gonna have to do that puzzle all over again, which makes me angry also. But I'm going to try to stay calm about that. Uh, essentially, it took three game overs and almost an hour to get back to where I was because the game was just being so uncooperative. Like, I am not kidding at how glitchy and messed up this level is. I was trying to, like, think of, like, kind things to say about this level. And if there is one kind thing I can say is that the boss of this level is actually relatively easy, so... I guess it's kind of a breather after all the shit that you have to go through. But, oh my god, this level can go suck it. I cannot believe at how much trouble this level's given me. Mostly from the cutscene glitch that I mentioned before. How you have the whole problem of... Because the way the game works... And yeah, that whole thing was just so you can get a gem. Um, I'm gonna have to be very careful here. Because like I said, if you mess up the puzzle, you're gonna have to do it all over again. Wow, that's really weird looking. Um, mostly because of the um, the cutscene glitch, where you know when you meet Engine, it's very possible that uh, because of the way that the game loads, it's no longer considered a cutscene, and the rats will. Sh the jump didn't activate, even though I kept pressing X. <sighs> okay, my yelling aside, I'm gonna stay calm for the most part, and just continue as I redo this puzzle because why not game 
Um, anyway, yeah, the, the cutscene glitch kept happening, so the rats kept walking into me, and I kept dying before the cutscene e even uh, finished. And there are multiple times where, you know, just like what happened, my jump wouldn't come out even though I kept pressing X. So because of that, basically, I kept falling into pits. And, like, one time it was so bad that I essentially, like, lost three lives in, like, three seconds. And it's even worse because there are times in this game where you'll notice, like, there's a delay when Crash falls into a pit and when he, uh you know, the game says he loses a life. That's because he's doing his animation of him, you know, doing the whole, like, angel going up to heaven thing. And the game is basically delaying, uh, delaying it. Because it's playing out the animation, but it's playing it out. Okay, finally. So how many gems left? Just two. And I know where the last two are, and the last two suck, but whatever. Um, it's playing out his death animation, but because you can't see it, it's essentially wasting your time, and that's what the issue is. Thank God we finally got through that area. I I'm not gonna front. Like, I I've been having, like, a really bad week, and, like, geez, like, this level does not help. Like, this level is probably one of the worst in the game. Oh, hey, there's the introduction of these crates. If you remember these from Crash 3, um, you have to, um, body slam them. That's the only way to break them. But, uh, you know, don't be an idiot and attack Nitro. Oh, yeah, by the way, oh, hey, thank you, Rat. Um, <laughs> By the way, about the nitro crates, yeah, something I discovered off-screen when I was getting back to uh, where I was. The nitro crates in this game, I don't know if they're glitched or if that's something that's just changed for Twin Sanity, but remember how in the previous games, um, when you're invincible, essentially nothing can hit you and this is your chance to like go through nitro crates and uh, break them without having to do some like extra central thing? Yeah, guess what? In this game, it doesn't happen anymore. Nitro crates are instant kill no matter what. It is so stupid. I, like, could not even make that up if I was trying. But essentially, uh, I believe we're, like, halfway through the level because, thank God, we're almost done. Like, I just do want, I, I want to rub, like, the, I want to rub the memory of this level off of my, um, shoulders after this because I was just having, like, such a bad time with this level. Like, it is so not funny. So, we have to go over there, um, you know, for uh, progression, but I believe our jet, our uh, fifth uh, chaos emerald over there. Yeah, there it is. We jump up here and we collect the fifth chaos emerald. Oh god, the computer was freezing again. It's like, don't do that, please don't. And also, if, I don't know if you guys remember, like you know, my failed uh, takes of uh, doing this level, but <laughs> you probably remember the fact that oh, come back here, come back here, so I can break these and get to the other side. I don't want to die and redo this level, uh, this level, not the level of the room. Come back here, please. Come back here. Come back here. You're not coming back, are you? You're just gonna, oh, there we go. You! Well, at least the good thing is we have our Chaos Emeralds, so I'll meet you guys back up there. Crashly Bashly. Mm. Ashley. Medicaid. Nah, I've got nothing. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> that was more needless than it needed to be. You may notice we're missing one. Uh, we're not done with the level quite yet, but this part of the level is absolutely no problem compared to all the hell that we had to go through. So we go up on this elevator and we collect the last um, the last uh, power crystal we needed. Well, I almost forgot the name, but we have unfinished business. Also, I'm going to be quiet for a second because I love this song. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is Engine, and uh, I'm sorry for being quiet there, but yeah, like I love this song. Just the way that the, the acapella is with this song, like it's just so silly. And it's sad because this boss fight is actually so easy, you won't actually hear the full song, but this boss is actually pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is just keep running in circles and avoid his missiles. And um, after that, he'll throw a TNT box at directly where you're standing, so all you have to do is bait him into um, getting rid of uh, his uh, support beams. So, really not much to say about this, except hold on one moment. <gasps> is that you? Crap. 
bash him, bash him. No. Sorry, I noticed my um, I noticed my volumes were peaking because my mic was doing that you know annoying thing where it kept tipping to the side, so it was making my audio sound lower than it should have been. Also, don't be like me and touch the spikes because yeah, that happens. So uh. Just be careful and just keep running in a circle. And again, really not much to say. Stupid me, by the way, um, when I was a kid, I thought those flags that you see over there were what you were supposed to destroy. But no, it's just these support beams. But as soon as we destroy this, um, everything should be over. Yeah, uh, pretty simple boss. It's honestly a breather after the level, but it's not over yet. So yeah, we have another boulder chase mission, and this one sucks because you actually have to collect a gem, and this time he does count as a boulder. So if you go back by any means, it's not like the Indi- uh, not Indians, the native Insanitians, whatever, like whatever they're called, like I really don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, hopefully I can get myself out of this because he's actually getting pretty close to me. And yeah, anything that stops you counts as a death at this point. Plus, he can go through nitro crates and cause you to die because of that. So, oh, uh, no, he hit me. Uh, he just freezes. Okay. Oh, uh, we got to see the cutscene over again. Um, really weird thing is that I originally thought, like, when I, as a kid, I could not understand what he's saying. But now I understand what he's saying is, ah, yummy, fresh me for my pot. At first, like, when I was a kid, I thought he said, ah, yummy, fresh me for my bottom. And I'm just like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. So I got to kind of concentrate here. But uh, there is something funny I can talk about. The song that's playing here is actually another acapella remix of a classical song. I don't know the name of it personally, but I'll put it on screen uh, when I do figure out what the name is. But uh, yeah, I actually listened to um, this song in the radio um, recently on my grandfather's car. And I know that this is a classical piece now, so I'm actually going to play a little bit of it. Uh, so you guys can uh, hear where the song originally comes from. And that's what I was talking about, by the way, where since he's, he just popped out of existence. Wow, that's weird. You're given a little bit of a break, by the way, so he doesn't start chasing you until you walk a certain distance. But um, yeah, uh, I listened to the song originally in the uh, car, so I'm going to let you guys listen to a little bit of it so you can get a uh, glimpse of like what the song is supposed to sound like without the acapella. And yeah, the, uh, well, thank God for the checkpoint. Yeah, I'm glad I stacked up on lives because I kid you not, I had so many, li I had like so little lives before this, it is not even funny. So I'm just glad that I stocked up on lives before this. Otherwise, I, okay, that keeps tricking me up. I have, yeah, there's going to be stuff like that now where when you're getting chased by a boulder, well, well, that's what these sections are called pretty much because they're reminiscent to a uh, crash one. But, uh. Yeah, stuff like that where they're going to have two pits next to each other and they're going to try to trip you up like that. You know, they recommend you like running side by side, but that slows you down. So I try not to do that. That's why I keep doing that. And also don't go for anything at this level unless it's the Chaos Emerald. So I'm just glad we have 100% now because, yeah, I, these make me nervous, especially this one, because there's like little to no uh, margin for error. It is completely possible to out to like run so fast you off screen the guy. But I've never personally done it. I've only ever seen speedrunners do it. And yeah, it's funny because he's still chasing you through that. And you can still feel the rumble in your controller. But yeah, he's stuck. The funny thing is, he's supposed to have like, you know, an indent in the wall. Like he ran into the wall. But I guess, you know, that's another glitch. In any case, we have a cutscene coming up. The rats are leaving the sinking ship. 
Tell us where the treasure is, and we'll let you go. Silent. Looks like we'll have to wring it out of him. Embryo, get changed. All right, now we have another boss fight. This is Embryo and Entrophy. Embryo is the guy that is transformed to a frog monster, and Entrophy is the master of time. Entrophy, I believe, first showed up in Crash, uh, Crash 3 Warped as the guy that is basically the reason for all the time travel shenanigans in that game. But um, this boss fight is also relatively simple. All you have to do is just avoid Embryo's attacks and stay away from Entrophy because um, the sinking platforms and everything. He's going to attack you four times, and then after that, you got to run towards him because he's going to get tired or something and just attack him. Be careful, though, because like I said, the platforms do sink, so you have limited room for error here. And sometimes en Embryo can uh, spawn on top of you, so that's another issue, especially because sometimes the uh, platform bounces. I don't know why it's doing not doing it now. And yeah, I love that. I love he does that when, he, when you die. Uh, we gotta watch the cutscene again. I'll see you when the boss fight starts. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, sorry about all that weirdness. Wow, that camera angle was weird. You know, I, I love the cutscene with Engine where he's just like, yeah, uh, he just noticed he messed up when he like landed on the TNT. I love that. What's really weird about this boss fight, you notice in the corner over there, is that um, you see that there's a bunch of crates out there. That's left over from like whatever level this is supposed to be because I believe you were supposed to fight or like do an extra level before fighting Entropy and Embryo. But you know, that had to be cut. But for some reason there are blocks out there. And I guess those were left at, I guess those were left in from like the developers just in case like um, they got stuck or they needed to test out something. So also uh, Embryo. It's weird because originally Embryo was um, Cortex's, um, you know, assistant, basically serving the same purpose as like an Igor from um, Dr. Frankenstein. And um, the thing about that is that in Crash 2, when you got the 100% ending of collecting all the gems, Embryo helped you out defeating Crash, up uh, defeating Crash. Embryo helped you out defeating Cortex because of the whole, you know, the enemy and my enemy is my friend. But for some reason in this, he's a mute, and I don't understand why. I guess just because, like, he didn't really have any interesting lines or something. But, yeah, it's kind of weird how he kind of doesn't have anything to say in this game. Also, when they said, like, you know, tell us where the treasure is and we'll let you go. I love how Crash was actually going to say something and then, and then end Trophy just because he's a villain or just because we need an explanation for why we're fighting them. He just cut Crash off. It, it, it's honestly kind of a stupid reason for wanting to fight him. At this point, I think they were just kind of instigating a fight. See, that's kind of the, the point with some of these villains. They really don't have a purpose here. They're just being dicks. But, yeah, that's basically the fight in a nutshell, and we're done. Come along to the Psychotron. So now we've made it back to um, our beloved iceberg lair on this piece of ice. And at this point, you really could just restart the entire iceberg lair again, too, because you all you have to do is go to Ice Climb and just reset the story, which I find funny. But, uh, yeah... This video is kind of going on for a bit long, and uh, frankly, I have stuff to do today, so uh, we're going to cut this off here. Right, next time on Crash of Sanity, we are going to go into the uh, central iceberg lair and go into the um, <clears throat> the Psychotron. Wow. I, yeah, I, th this has gone on for so long, I'm losing my breath. We're going to go on to the Psychotron, and we are going to see if we can follow the twins into the 10th uh, dimension. So, until next time, see you then. <laughs>